With the six year anniversary coming up, we're all excited. Well, some of us. Today I'm gonna be talking about what I would like to see and I wanna hear your thoughts as well. And yes, I will be streaming the anniversary stream. The link to my Twitch will be in the description. Here I am gonna be explaining what I would like to see in the anniversary stream. Uh, if they don't have a really good, and I'm talking about, I mentioned this on my stream, if they don't have a good, like, bang, basically, then I know most likely I will be dropping DVD. And I know what you're saying. Oh, you already said this before. Listen, nobody knew VHS was going to take three months to fix something, all right? It, it happens, you know? Shit. But lately, I have, in some ways, sometimes do enjoy DVD for like two hours, and then that's it. Uh, so I do appreciate anybody that does come by. But here are some of the things I would like to see. Number one, after watching the 350k tournament, uh, Shroud said it best. There's just no optimization in this game. I think he said it best. I don't know what game he was playing. This was months ago, where he was like, gameplay of the smoothest of the game should be always first. Everything else should be second. And I feel that is a great example because if the game runs shit, I think you're gonna have a shit time, right? I just, like you, think about it, think of it as a single player game, right? You jump into a single player game and it runs like shit, it ruins your immersion. Same way with DVD. It ruins my immersion that I'm stuck at 60 FPS. Even if I have to uncap it myself, it doesn't feel like it's 60 FPS. It's, it's, it feels like it struggles. And again, that's what I want. I want things where I can take off. We're in 2022 and we're still stuck on the high, medium, low, whatever, ultra, whatever. Like that, what is that? And I understand the devs behavior don't want to, you know, give too much options to people to like take away shadows. Well, guess what behavior? People already do that with reshade and nvidia and that's probably their answer which is a lazy answer if, if that's you know gonna be their answer like oh if you want all of that just use that you know do it yourself blah blah i i think it's time to get a better optimization now obviously i don't know it would work on console because i didn't really i don't really play console that much anymore so i don't know how would that would work i think maybe i think fortnite has multiple options where you could turn on turn off and turn on things but most times it's just a high medium low type of thing but on pc i feel like we deserve higher quality now, I think they already confirmed this, that they are in the works to make a better blood web. So that's what I'm guessing they are going to showcase what the new blood web looks like. Now, I already talked to one of the devs. I think the last time when I was actually talking to the devs, when we had small conversations, behavior devs, um, they said that they didn't want to get rid of the tears because that's a big part of the grind. It's like they, they said that it makes the player feel more rewarded. Yeah, maybe in 2016. I honestly think that it's time for a change. I don't think we need to be in a extreme blood web spending. You know, uh, another thing. Okay, I wanted to sidetrack for a second, but it's about blood web. There was a, a mod that you can use to mute the blood web. Most times, players just go to the option and mute it because spending a million blood webs hearing the sound is annoying. So the fact that mods did it better than the devs it, it, the anniversary stream really has me on low hopes but i'm trying to be optimistic so i'm thinking what can they do to make the blood web better obviously i wouldn't be surprised if they take notes from vhs and making it to a tree for a easier way and a better experience for newer players because a newer player is what sells more than a returning veteran in my opinion because newer players are gonna invest more time a veteran player will play a couple times here and there but a newer player wants to learn new survivors new killers new perks all that stuff so they're gonna and they buy more cosmetics and they're more excited why would behavior invest in players who have thousands of hours when they could be investing you know in newer players that spend more money than veterans in my opinion the next thing i would like for them to announce is a training mode Obviously, another textbook from VHS because they just do it better, in my opinion. They need to add a mode for, you know, players, newer players. Try out the new killers. Try out looping. Try out, you know, just walking around, getting familiar with the, the maps. And, yes, there is RNG in, in some areas and windows and stuff, but I don't think it matters. People just want to jump in and mess around. And, yeah, you could play bots and do, like, a tutorial and all that. But just going in and just messing around, I think the reason why they won't do this, and hear me out, I think they won't do this because they might lose 
some players into the quick playlist. You know, I mean, like the, the only playlist they have, you know, you jump in. So they're afraid that more people are just going to spend time, you know, like in the training mode, just walking around doing shenanigans rather than play the game, which I do see the argument of that. But I think players want to just to try out their killers that they bought. If it's very overwhelming, you bought Pinhead and you jump in, you're facing like four blendettes that you can never find. It, it's frustrating. So you got to learn powers with different killers and my, like it, the fact that it's not in the game it, it baffles me because like a lot of other asymmetrical games do this vhs midnight ghost hunt um i think if i'm correct i think the evil dead does have it now a lot of uh asymmetricals that are coming out are doing better things than dvd dvd is way behind and i think this should be a sign that you need to give your players more freedom with the training mode now this one is just a little wish list i've always asked for this and I don't think they'll do it, but it'll be cool. A Mori item shot. Like something that's really cool for the killers and then for the survivors, emote dance. I don't think it matters anymore that the game is scary. It's not scary. You got elephants as a as a clown. You got a bunny in, in the game. Well, I know it's it's part of the lore of a side of hill, but still, we've passed the horror theme of just staying, you know, dark and gritty, like Zack Snyder. We, we get it, okay? We we passed that. Now let's give killers different moris and let's give survivors different emotes one of the funnest moments i had and i think everybody agreed when i was playing as bill and i was doing backflips i think it was one of the funnest parts about the game and i don't think it would take it too serious i think it would actually reduce of the teabagging that a lot of like killers cry about like oh, i don't want to get teabagged well guess what you're about to get backflip and i find i find it more funny like when i was playing killer Somebody emote me and they did a backflip on my screen and dropped the pallet. I couldn't stop laughing. I was like, that doesn't make me mad. I couldn't stop laughing about that. So I think the item shop needs a little bit more flair with a dance and a mori shop. I think it'll be cool now that moris are more balanced. I don't like I don't get mad anymore when somebody mores me. I'm like, it's cool. Like, you know, it's whatever. It's pretty cool to see like a point of view as a survivor with it. Another thing I would love to see uh, reworked. It's in the game. It's poorly. It's the privacy streamer mode. It needs to be worked like tremendously because it it doesn't block the names in the lobbies and it doesn't block the names after the game and it, it, it's a little bit frustrating as a streamer because i don't like playing twitch tvs because most times they're just cringe they, they, they either are very toxic or they're very just weird at times not all of them but i would say like a good percentage anybody that comes to my stream we play to get twitch streamers and it never ends well because they usually get mad because quotations i tunnel them even though they're sticking out like a sore thumb and they're trying to flash like me and i, I catch them and i'm like okay you want my attention i got you i would just like a better streamer mode and i honestly think hear me out people are not gonna agree with me i think it's time we get rid of the um end game chat that's just me uh, I know what you're saying. That's dumb. I don't want it. Even console players to this day still want the M game chat. Listen, I've seen you console players. I've seen how you guys send messages to the opposite side. Hell no. You think you guys deserve an end game chat? Hell no. Oh my god. You no. I, I I don't know. I don't like the end game chat. I leave it there, and I know some are just like, just turn it off if you're that soft. I just hate seeing dumb shit. You know, it's 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 like you go out to the store and you see something. You see somebody like just acting stupid and crazy. That's the end game chat for me. Every time I'm just like, God, you're so stupid. Like, just shut up. Like, I, I think there needs to be a better, healthier way for an end game chat. And I always like the system that Overwatch has. Like a thumbs up. Everybody votes. Can you imagine that? Like the end game chat, like, uh, has a new system where it shows most flashlights, most gens done. Something that just feels healthier for the game, in my opinion. Now, items, in my opinion, are very lacklustered. I'm going to do a two-part items and let's just say gameplay. Items in the game are pretty outdated. The fact that there's three different toolboxes, three different flashlights, in my opinion, they need to make it more simpler and more just balanced, in my opinion. I think there should just be one item. Uh, they can take this from VHS. I'm sorry if anybody's getting pissed off that I'm saying VHS, but they just do it better. Having multiple different items is just bad in my opinion having different varieties of it is also bad because obviously you're just going to keep on just having a big what is it i guess batch of just brown two boxes and they're just always just going to sit there and do nothing or you could probably use it for a brand new party but you know what i mean like there's always 
a big handful of something that just never gets used. The same thing with uh, offerings. There's a ton of offerings that never get used. I hardly ever see killers use like thick mists or cut coins or or it's very rare. So the the whole items and offerings they need to be changed to something more fun. Now I don't think they're ever gonna go with weapons in the game. Um, but I think they should just change it, in my opinion, because flashlights, firecrackers. And I can see the argument of like, oh, this is DVD. If you want weapons, go play VHS. Go play Evil Dead. I get that. Okay. I think we all can agree that most of the items are pretty useless in DVD. And the last thing is going to be the gameplay, meaning that there needs to be some changes. Like, they added the boon. That was like their big hoorah. And then they added for killer scorch hooks and all that. I get it, which is cool and all. But it's very, very, I hate being mean, but you know I'm right. It's very lazy in a way because it's nothing new. It's literally doing the same thing with, with an extra cherry on top. It doesn't really make the game go, wow, I can't believe that is new. You know, like the last thing they did was the end game collapse, which was a whole new game changer, in my opinion, even though it's not that great because most people just 99 doors. So you got rid of that. So they never really even like fixed that issue because I think it's an issue. The fact that you can 99 doors, I think it's kind of wrong. I think it should decrease over time. Obviously, if you put a 99, that's just my opinion because I've had a 20 minute end game. <laughs> they, they did all the gens in five minutes. No joke. And it was like a 15 to 20 minute end game. It didn't make sense. So those are the, some of the things that I would like to see for the anniversary stream. If you guys have some, leave some down below. But I do have a question for you guys. And I would love your feedback about this. Because we'll be talking about it on my stream this week. I want to know, do you think, and again, everybody thinks I'm crazy. Do you think that DVD will go free to play? I don't think they will go free to play this year. But next year they will. And here's why. As one YouTuber I like to watch said, the four horsemen are coming for the A-Sims. And I feel that behavior is going to drop. They've been dropping players, but they're going to have a humongous drop of people leaving for Evil Dead, VHS, Ghostbusters, the Leatherface. And car there's Carnival Hunt. And there's probably a ton more that are, are hiding in the, in the darkness. Because nobody knew about Carnival Hunt. Nobody knew about VHS. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre game, everybody kind of knew about it but not really they thought it was just a rumor so i honestly think that next year's anniversary will have free to play anyways i want to hear your guys um uh, i guess wish list of what you want to hope to see for the anniversary stream if you come by the anniversary stream we're going to have a, a ton of giveaways i'm going to be giving out subs and i'm also going to be giving out something special that i think you should be there it'd be really cool this saturday is mario kart stream so it was part of the subathon so be there as well Thank you guys again for watching. I really do appreciate you guys, uh, the people that stay all the way to the end that watches and hear me ramble and hear me, I guess, vent out or just talk. You guys are the real troopers, and I really do appreciate you. Also, what do you think about my new mic? Does it sound great? Let me know. Anyways, take it easy, everybody. Have a great week. I'll see you next time.